Hello, my name is Obi Egonu and I am a prevention specialist at Recovery Resource Council. Today we're going to be talking about a new lesson and that is about stereotyping. So first we're going to go over what stereotyping is and then we'll talk a little bit about how we tend to use stereotyping and how stereotyping can sometimes and oftentimes be harmful to people and then how we can change those harmful beliefs and make them positive. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it, shall we? So what is stereotyping? In simplest terms, stereotyping is simply passing a judgment or putting a label on a group of people based on how they are viewed, their physical appearance, or rumors about them. And as I say that definition, I'm sure that a few stereotypes come to mind about groups of people that you've heard. A lot of times there's memes about them <clears throat> and sometimes they can be really funny um, but sometimes though they're funny they can still be harmful to people. I go for stereotypes already man. You know, everybody because we can't wear Latinos we can't wear the same clothes as white dudes and look the same. If a white dude puts on tuxedo he looks sharp. How come if I put a tuxedo I look like I'm parking cars. <laughs> I don't park cars. I wash them. <laughs> no, it's serious, man. I can't wear flannel. Frank, don't wear flannel. You look like a gangster. How come I look like a gangster when a white dude puts on flannel? He's camping. <laughs> it's true, right? I, like, I have these tan Timberland boots. A black dude can wear the same boots look like I'm shooting a music video. I put in the same boots, I look like I'm working construction. <laughs> I hate dealing with stereotypes. They used to stereotype me at my job. All the time they stereotype me at my job. Hey Frank, we're going to eat some Mexican food for lunch, so tell us, where's the closest taco truck? <laughs> what the hell, dude? I don't just like know where every freaking taco truck is. <laughs> like I have GPS and where is taco truck. Right, I'm gonna tell him, oh yeah, right around the corner to the left, let me call him. <laughs> Come on, man, really? Really? <laughs> oh, I just ordered you two tacos and a soda. <laughs> going to bring some bean dip? <laughs> no. Stereotyping attempts to place people into boxes that they don't often fit in and would rather not be inside of. It can create an unnecessary fear in a situation whereas it might not be needed. An example could be racial profiling. If a black male is walking on the street on his own late at night, there might be an, a feeling or an environment of fear, this fear is caused by the stereotypes that we see in the media about black males. So he could be dangerous, he could be carrying a weapon, he could be angry. These are just a few stereotypes that they might fit under. And it can also inhibit one's ability to advance in school and work. Some people might not be able to get as far because of the stereotype that they fall under.
हो गया This can also fall under what is the next topic, which is a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's when you hear so much about you or you, the beliefs about your group of people that you start believing it. Meet Jane. Jane is 90 kilograms and overweight. All her life, she's been told being overweight makes her unattractive. So she hides her figure by wearing baggy clothes, doesn't wear makeup, pays no attention to her appearance. This is Mary. Mary is 54 kilograms and slim. She feels confident of the way she looks and enhances her assets by wearing makeup, tailors her dresses and wears heels that accentuates her long legs. Wherever she goes, she makes heads turn. And here comes Tom, a man both women find attractive. Now if you were Tom, whom would you choose? Most people would pick Mary. But why? Is it just because Mary is slim? What if Jane pays more attention to what she wears and how she carries herself? Would you pick Jane then? Overweight people are unattractive. Men are better at math. Women are bad drivers. These are familiar stereotypes. But what if you get stereotyped over and over again you start to internalize the negative characteristics associated with the stereotypes and actually allow them to become self-fulfilling prophecies. This is what psychologists call stereotype threat. In 1995, American psychologists Claude Steele and Joshua Aronson put this theory of stereotype threat to the test. They conducted four rounds of experiments involving African-American and white college students from Stanford University. Students took a difficult test in the first two experiments and completed a task in the third. When they were told that the test of the task was a measurement of intellectual ability, African-American students performed worse than their white counterparts. However, when the tasks were described as not diagnostic of ability, their performance equaled that of their white counterparts. To reinforce the impact of the stereotype threat, the psychologists conducted the fourth experiment students had to fill in a personal information questionnaire before the test. The questionnaires were all identical, except that on some, the final question asked participants to indicate their race. The main aim? To see if the stereotype of African Americans being less intelligent actually affects their test score. So how did they perform on the test when presented with feelings of stereotype threat? Those who had indicated their race before the test performed poorly. Those who did not have to indicate their race prior to the test fared better. According to Steele, an individual does not have to believe in the stereotype to be vulnerable to it. His research suggests stereotypes are self-fulfilling in nature. When a person performs badly in an area they are stereotypically supposed to be bad at, they might think the stereotype is true and perpetuate it further with bad performance. Now if poor Jane hadn't believed that being overweight was unattractive, would she have had a little more confidence to be friends with Tom? How about you? What stereotypes are keeping you from getting what you really want? And does the sheer belief in these stereotypes stop you in your tracks? My takeaway message for you today is that you, you do not have to fall into the stereotype category. Believe in who you say that you are. And if that does not fall under the stereotype category, then be above it. Raise the standard. Be unique in a situation whereas everybody else seems to be following the norm. You should just be your own individual you, right? So even though there's a lot of voices and people telling you that you are or you should be a certain way, do what's comfortable for you. Make healthy choices that help you grow and you accomplish the things that you have set for yourself. One of the things that we can do during this time where things are kind of trying to get back into normal and slowly we're still trying to reposition ourselves back into society is while we still have that quiet time and we still have that downtime, 
a really fun thing to do is create a vision board is for you, right? Your vision board are goals that you set for yourself. When I had made vision boards um, in high school and college, some of the things that I put on there were going to college or going to pursue my master's or I wanted to get married at this time. And these are just little goals that I had for myself. And I posted that vision board in my room so that every day I could look at it and say, I'm this much closer to my goal, right? And when you accomplish a little goal, even if it's small, like if you want to get back started into working out and fitness, maybe working out once a week, once you accomplish that once a week, celebrate yourself for reaching that goal. But don't just stop there and set more goals. Okay, this week I'm going to do twice a week and I'm going to make sure that one of those days is a run. These are just examples of things that you can do. But I really encourage you guys to get out there, get active, and not just physically active, but mentally get active. Let your mind juices flow. You know, create vision boards. We don't always have to fall under the category of the stereotype that we are said to belong in, right? We can be the unique outlier in our life, in our social groups, and we can um, we can stay positive and we can move forward. Again, my name is Obi Egonu. I hope that this information was helpful. I hope that we learned something new and um, I just want you guys to know that I care for you. I wish you well and thank you again for tuning in.